Welcome in another ETF comparison. In this video, I'm going to compare DGRO with VIG. I'm going to compare expense ratio, fund overlap, then also backtest performance, holdings, sectors, and also dividend yield history, dividend growth. So you will learn it all. Now, if you're going to have any questions regards DGRO of your own opinion, share it down below in the comments. If you know any other ETF that you want me to compare, Again, share it down below in the comments. And if you want to learn how we can make money with ETFs, I created a course just for you. So without further ado, let's start. Here we are, DGRO with VIG. What we can find, Isher is different BlackRock comparing to Vanguard, both really popular. Then when we look further expense ratio, DGRO is a little bit more expensive comparing to VIG. Uh, now, the two things which are VIG winning, again, comparing to DGRO, are assets under management <clears throat> and average daily volume. So there's like triple of DGRO, the average daily volume of VIG. Then underlying index is again different. And number of holdings, DGRO got uh, by what is it, 120 more holdings comparing to VIG. So we can see right here. So when we look on this part of the video, expense ratio is lower with VIG, assets under management are higher, average daily volume higher, but number of holdings are lower. So it's more diversified, but you shouldn't focus really on number of holdings only because it really depends uh, how much weight the ETF got in those stocks. So there were like ETFs that got 40% in two stocks, you know, and it doesn't matter if they got 2000 holdings when 40% of the whole ETF is in two stocks. So yep. <laughs> now when we go further, and we will look soon on performance, we can look here on um, like sectors, technology in both nearly 20% in VIG 20.40% in DGRO financials 17. Here is financial 12 in VIG, healthcare 17, again 15 in VIG. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, when you look on holdings and you can like compare it to yourself, um, which one you like more, there are like many times similar, but again, when we look what kind of companies they have, they're going to overlap here, Home Depot. And I'm going to show you also the overlap, Apple, Pfizer, DGRO got also companies which are, which are focusing also on growth and they're not paying dividends. Same with VIG. So. When we look here on like, let me just show you DGRO dividend yield and also is VIG. So I really like when the ETF is focusing is that you're going to have some mm, dividend history or like seven dividends, but still it's focusing on growth. And this is soon I'm going to show you. So first, let me show you the fund or lab here. And when you look on the fund or lab, and DGRO versus VIG, we can find that they are overlapping by 60%. So number of holdings, they're overlapping 223. Then 57.6% of DGRO's 387 holdings are also in VIG. And then 83% of VIG. So 83% of VIG, 272 holdings are also in DGRO. The overlap is pretty huge here. And we can find what they're actually overlapping with. Microsoft Corporation. JP Morgan Chase, Home Depot, Procter Gamble, Johnson Johnson, and many others here. Next, Terra Energy Group. So there are overlapping in many stocks here. And now let's check the backtest performance. So let's say that we are going to invest $10,000 initially, and then we are going to invest $500 monthly. And what we are going to do, we are going to reinvest the dividends. So that's uh, our program that we have. And now let's look at this DGRO and then we are going to write here VIG and now like this analyze portfolio and what we can find we can find that there are the final balance is really similar when we look on the past now when we look here on a 98,000 98,000 portfolio one portfolio two so it's really similar now, when we look even the performance, you can clearly see that. Okay, there were uh, sometimes the 2016 was better for 
DGRO, 2017 DGRO, then again DGRO, then uh, to VIG overperformed in 2020, and again 2021 DGRO. So it's many times similar, and this is really interesting. So when you look also on dividends, you can see that dividends mm, like 2015 wasn't that big for both, like the difference I mean. Then again, but right now 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, DGRO overperformed VIG. But again, when you look on the performance, we don't all of we don't we don't just look on the performance of mm, dividends. We look on the portfolio growth whole. But again, when you look on the dividends, the winner is DGRO. And let me show you another thing: is that when you, yes, when you look on the DGRO, the history, you can see that yes, the dividend yield history is better. But what, what is really important to look on is dividend dividend growth here. And you see the dividend growth is like growing pretty good. And slowly it's also here too. But the growth is quite good with DGRO. Now, this is pretty much it, what I wanted to show you. And I don't know what else you would you like me to explain. If you're going to have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. This was a DGRO versus VIG comparison. What we learned and what we understood. In many ways, they are overlapping. When we look on the backtest performance, we can even see that their final balance is really similar. So I could even say that both I got both is good choice. If you're gonna choose DGRO or if you're gonna choose VIG, you're not gonna make a mistake. You got lower expense ratio with the VIG, uh, more assets under management, higher average daily volume, but you got the thing that mm, you don't you have lower dividend history. And when you look on the growth here of DGRO, it's growing pretty good comparing to dividend growth of VIG, but it's also still good. So yeah, let me down in the comments what, you, what are you thinking about VIG or DGRO. I'm really happy to hear that. Like if you like that one or if you like that one. Or like which one you actually like. And also, as I mentioned, if you want to learn how you can make money with um, ETFs, I created a course and you will find the course down below in the description. And I'll be really happy if you would check it out and see by yourself that it's worth it or no for you. And because I was preparing it a lot and those strategies and everything can be helpful on your journey. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.